Zombie season five premiere, Thug Death. So of course, this is the beginning of the final season of iZombie. Sad to see the show go, but definitely been a fun ride so far. Um, took me a minute to watch this. Obviously, I know I'm already two weeks behind because I was uh, in Japan for new who is like just randomly finding my channel. So when the episode premiered, I was in Japan. So I was like, crap. So I saw the uh, I saw episode one earlier this week. I just still been super tired. So I haven't been able to like do any of my reviews or anything and like catch up on time. But really enjoyed the first episode. We get a bit of a time skip. It's been a couple months. Um, things overall seem to be kind of crappy for everybody except for like two people and that's of course Don E and Blaine. We don't really see Don E living it up in his mansion but I'm sure he is at least okay. And of course Blaine is just like you know full-on mansion man. So it was like all right this is interesting. Things are kind of tough on the entire town. Everything's just kind of getting worse and worse. Harder to smuggle brains in. That was kind of the big story of the episode leading up to the ending. We have um, kind of like human rights groups now kind of doing sort of terrorist based acts where they're like you know driving into locations and you know setting off bombs to kill a bunch of zombies and things like that so the tensions are really hitting the fever pitch which oddly enough that seemed to be the whole point of the last season and now it's like that was like fever pitch part one and now it's like all right well how do we go into like this new era you know trying to figure out the solution so things are kind of you know slowly getting worse and then you know they're kind of you know ups and downs on different sides of the fence we saw you know in the beginning of the episode the big thing was that there were zombies that ended up killing someone in you know a, a bit of a car accident like they I, if i remember right they bumped into them which i think was kind of on purpose to be like hey you bumped into me so that they could they would get out of the car and then they attacked them and they you know they ate this person so it was an interesting first episode where everyone's trying to figure out like you know how do we get things kind of back on track you know you still have the stuff going on as far as um live and everybody smuggling people into the city and then you of course have blaine smuggling bodies slash brains into the city so it's just kind of tough on everybody and then the city as a whole is kind of falling apart where you know people are having their arguments like you know should we fight against the zombies should we ban with the zombies you know is it you know split apart so it's kind of that dividing line i think is bigger now than it was in the last season when everyone found out like that was a big deal but i think now things have officially gotten worse and it's just like okay well now that you know major has taken over he's trying to do things in a bit of a you know a bit of a nicer way so it's not as strict and intense so things you know it, him being the character that he is overall it makes stuff a little bit tougher because he's like you know i'm not gonna go in and just start you know dropping people like that so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out throughout the season but it was definitely a good start definitely enjoyable uh robbie of course was hilarious in this episode being um i think just like thumbbreaker tony or whoever he was definitely funny uh we also get introduced to a new character that ends up working with him and she's the only person i don't know i guess no one was paying attention but she instantly was just like okay you know because she was already a huge fan of his she read um like his article his thesis on the you know former uh, potential zombie apocalypse before it actually happened and it was like you were close to something and she figured out the whole cure and fortunately she didn't actually say anything by the end um because like he said you know you'd have these kids basically hunted down they'd have like bounties on their head if you did that sort of thing so she decides to you know kind of take his word on it and she doesn't end up giving out that information and lies and says that she needs they would need like tons and tons of brains so it doesn't work so i was like okay let's see how this ends up playing out so maybe they'll somehow find another cure i don't know how, if that'll really be possible but maybe they'll end up finding another cure so we'll just see how that ends up playing out but it's like okay she's not a horrible person she did get a bad rap um kind of coming in you know like her introduction to robbie was horrible because he was just like a dick the whole episode he was just mad um so it's like she didn't really have the best interactions with him so maybe that'll change um in the second episode i'll have to see but i like the new, the new character and we'll see how her connection to you know the outside world really affects things and i was super curious i was like do they know that he's a zombie that was like my big question this episode because he's you know not really being himself so i was so curious i was like does she know does like do any of these people know that he's a zombie because of course he has like his you know like they, they even reference he was like my monthly's here i thought that was funny um so i was like does anyone know that he's a zombie you know like outside of you know the core group of characters so i was really curious about that but all in all, a fun episode. I'm very excited to see where the rest of the season ends up going. I don't know what's going to happen with, you know, the whole Renegade deal because that seemed like it's already falling apart with uh, the two girls getting caught on the bus. So I don't know if they'll really attack Seattle for that or, you know, how that might end up playing out. I mean, that's kind of the whole thing is like zombie apocalypse, let's nuke the place. 
So I don't know if that'll come back up and, you know, they'll take out the city or what's going to happen within the city. So there's still a lot of questions up in the air for how this series is really going to end. Like, is it going to end with a, an official cure? Like, they do find a second cure or is it going to end where it's chaotic and then zombies are just kind of a part of the world as a whole? And when that happens, they have to kind of adapt in new ways. So I'm very curious how that's going to end up playing out by the end of the series where it's like, you know, do they solve the problem entirely? Or is it just the new world era where, you know, zombies get out? Because that's what I thought might happen last season where they would just get out and infect the entire world because you have some people who can control it and then there are some people who don't. So it's that, you know, that's kind of the big question that's kind of up in the air. Like, how will the series truly end? But for now, things are really good. Um, also, a random little thing, Clive uh, and Dale are going to end up having a kid, which if I remember right, the time skip was like, six or eight months or something like that so i would assume that they're about five or six months along um so we'll see you know i would assume that they're gonna have the baby within the series you know before we get to the actual finale but i thought that was cool i was like all right so they you know time skip boom she's pregnant visibly pregnant of course so we'll see how that ends up playing out by the end and you know what they end up doing with that but definitely looking forward to the final season unfortunately they threw it right in the thing too it was like boom final season of by zombie so i was like oh hit me with it but really looking forward to the rest of this season definitely thought it was a, a really funny as always really funny first episode um love the scene when they're in the bar where Mary's like you know stay in your lane Blaine he's like it's coming up with a plan man and Donnie was like he was about to say get on the bus Gus I thought that was such a funny scene I was like that's just you know it's just consistency like they always do some funny writing so really enjoyed that little scene so it was just something I wanted to mention because I, I like that moment and he was just like get on the bus and Blaine's like you know like stop like just stop so love that scene but all in all, a good first episode. Definitely looking forward to the rest of the season. Of course, we'll love to know what you guys thought about this episode. So please put your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know your favorite parts about it, at least favorite parts about it. And I would love to know your predictions and hopes for this final season. What do you want to see? What do you think we'll see? Um, you know, just what will happen? Who will live? Who will die? If you think they'll actually kill off another main character for the final season. Um, for me personally, I don't really have many expectations. The only thing that I want, I just hope they don't do the super dramatic thing and like, Clive dies when he's having a kid. I just really hope they don't do that. For one, I love Clive, and he was, you know, one of the main three characters in the beginning of the series. So I really hope they don't do that. Um, but other than that, it was just like, I don't know. Like, I, would I care if Blaine died? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think I would. I mean, he they did the death before, which was admittedly a really good season, and we found out that he became a zombie. That was a really good thing for his character. Uh, it was just a good moment in the show in general when they did that death, and I was like, no, nope, he's a zombie. So that was super cool, but... I don't know. I don't know if I would really care if he died. I like him as a villain and as a character. I think he's just well done in general. He's super funny. But I don't know. I don't think I'd be sad. It was like, oh, Blaine's dead. That sucks for him, really, because he's the douchey villain. He's the, you know, the continuous villain for the series. So it's one of those weird things where it's like, I like him as a character, but would I be like distraught if he died? I don't think so. So I wouldn't mind if he lived. Like if everyone lived, I'd be okay with that. Um, but I don't know. I don't really have any expectations or hopes or anything like that. Like I said, the only thing I don't want to see is them kill off Clyde. It's like, oh, it's the guy who's having a kid, and it's the the ultimate dramatic, you know, storytelling plot line where somebody's having a kid, and right when it happens, or you know, right before it's about to happen, they die, and they don't ever get to see their kid grow up. So I'm I'm really hoping we don't have that moment in this series. So that's my only hope is that 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 they don't end up doing that and killing off a character. I wouldn't want any of the good characters to die like at all if I'm being totally honest. But if I had to pick. Definitely not Clive, because it's like, please don't go with the, the parent dying story. I would just hate to see that. But um, I wouldn't mind if Liv's family came back into the storyline. That would be another thing. I think I mentioned that before. Uh, they just wrote that out entirely. Like, her brother is, like, nowhere to be seen. Her mom is gone. I wouldn't mind seeing them pop up in some way, shape, or form, because I think they've been gone since season two, if I'm not mistaken. And her mom may have shown up in season three. Like, somebody showed up, I think, um in season three I, I can't really remember maybe they didn't but um i think ever since that explosion with her brother where he was like injured at the end of season one they were in season two and you know they referenced the fact that he was wounded i don't think they ever actually showed him even recover from that if i'm not mistaken i can't it's been a minute so i don't remember that but her family's been gone like they her mom has not really been in the show her brother has definitely not been in the show and they live in seattle like that was the big thing because i remember talking about that i think during season three i was like her family lives in the city. There was no storyline where they moved away or anything. So that might never happen. It might just be one of those weird things where, you know, sometimes in TV shows, they're just like, eh, and they just drop a plot line. Um, 
but that was a big deal. It was literally like her brother and her mom who live in the same city. Like they live in Seattle. So I don't know. Like maybe they're just gone. Maybe they'll at least reference it. And it would suck to be like, oh yeah, they were they left a few years ago. I just forgot to mention something dumb. I don't know. But I was like, I, I would love to see them come back somehow. You know, whether they're in the city, not in the city, some, just something for those characters. I don't know. But I'd like to see that happen. I kind of doubt it, admittedly, because it's been a minute. I don't think they're even going to bother. But that'd be a nice little twist to see them actually come back into the storyline. Like, oh, her family that exists. Who knew? Um, but that's really it. Like I said, we'd love to know what you guys thought about the premiere. So please put your comments down in the comment section below. And of course, thanks for watching.